Guys, food reviews with John the Picker. We're gonna go to JJ's tonight. Friggin' little dark out. Can't see the sign. I gotta drive around. Drive through window right there. We're gonna hit that beast up. Whoever put that drive through window in is a friggin' genius. Oh, genius. Now I ain't gotta go inside to get my pizza. That's a good thing. I'm gonna drive around, hit up that drive through window, get my pizza. Back around this way. Look at the new Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. We're gonna bust up in here. Just like those guys. Stop and go with service. Georgie's Wreckers. See if I get to tow my vehicles if I ever need them towed. Next item up on the food reviews, barbecued pizza, pulled pork. $11 this cost me for a small pizza. It's $22 for a large. JJ's and Alpina. It's our steak and pizza house. Look at that thing, eh? That's awesome. It's got pulled pork, onions, uh, barbecue sauce, and a blend of cheeses. Looks like mozzarella. Some cheddar up in there. It looks really, really good. Shots out to JJ's. I love how they cut their onions on their pizzas. It's awesome. You can taste the barbecue sauce in that big time. It's a tangy, tangy sauce that's different than Little Caesars and Pizza Hut. Pulled pork. I can taste that, which is right there. Pretty good, folks. I love the crust. Their crust is awesome. Their barbecued pizza is awesome. That's one thing I love about JJ's Pizza is the crust. Their sauce on their pizzas. And their onions. The pork on this pizza tastes straight like it came from a barbecuer, folks. It's awesome. Tastes like some ribs or something. Look at all the cheese they put on that beast. Oh yeah. It's awesome. Cheese is just as thick as the crust. Alright guys, we're done with JJ's Pizza. This is probably the best barbecue pizza I've ever had. It's friggin' the best barbecue pizza I've had. The uh, pork tastes like it was just pulled off the bone. The barbecue sauce is nice and tangy. It ain't spicy or nothing. Scrappy likes it. He's been eating it up with me. Try to get him a piece of this pork off there. A big piece of pork. There you go, boy. He likes it. Oh yeah, this is the best pizza ever. I love JJ's Pizza. I like their crust and their onions. This is even just as good. The pork was nice and fresh. And the sauce was really good. Yep, JJ's gets a 5 out of 5. We love that kind. I love that kind. Food reviews with John the Picker. Next item up, ladies and gentlemen, is loaded curly fries. I could have got them free with the purchase of a sandwich, but I already ate five breakfast burritos today, so we'll pass on that. This is going to have curly fries, cheddar sauce, 
shredded cheddar, bacon, and ranch. That ought to be pretty freaking good. That's what those look like. Everybody that doesn't know that Arby's cheddar cheese is awesome. So is their curly fries. We like curly fries. Oh yeah. Let's check this out and see how this tastes. Drop my fork. See how this beast tastes. See the ranch. The bacon. It's pretty cool. Puts ranch on the curly fries. Oh, that tastes really good, folks. You better run up to Arby's and get some of these. That's awesome. Whoever come up with this idea is a genius. Oh, yeah. I'm going to eat this up, and then I'll let you know how it tastes. Arby's loaded curly fries. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just got done eating all the loaded curly fries. If you like ranch, I suggest you get them. The fries are seasoned. They're the most amazing fries you'll taste. You got to get cheddar cheese with them. They're freaking awesome. Go up to Arby's, get your curly fries today. Scrappy. He took off. I was going to give the rest to Scrappy, but he took off. We'll have to cut him into the next video. And here's the rest. John Picker Food Reviews him out. Scrappy likes it. Scrappy's eating it. Ain't your boy. Alright guys, jalapeno chicken fries. I'm like a rhymer on timer today. We're going to test out these jalapeno chicken fries from Burger King and Alpina. Let's check that out. Look at the box. That's pretty neat. I like the box flavor that bites back. I'm scared of chickens. They're scary little animals, aren't they? They start jumping after you. Let's see what we got up in here. Jalapeno chicken fries. They even got some sauce. We got some ranch. Shots out to the people at Burger King. Oh yeah. Let's test this out today. Crap. It's hard to do stuff with one hand, folks. Hard to do it with one hand. I need to get a tripod. That's open enough. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just like the pitcher. Just like on the pitcher. Jalapeno chicken fries. I guess they have marinated chicken breast tossed in savory jalapeno breading for an added kick. Shaped like fries, so they're cool. The jalapeno is in the breading, folks. They taste really good. Fried. Awesome. I'm liking the jalapeno chicken fries. I can taste the jalapeno. I don't know where it's exactly it's at. But it's somewhere in there. Freaking brilliant. Brilliant. These jalapeno chicken fries are awesome, folks. Freaking awesome. Show you what we do on YouTube. Take a bunch of them. We eat the whole container at once. No time for games around the picker compound, folks. I got other stuff to do.
Jalapeno chicken fries are done up. Oh, dropped a piece. They're awesome. If you don't like hot stuff, I wouldn't get it. Because it's kind of a little bit spicy considering it's got jalapenos. I'm liking them. They should keep those on the menu forever. I like the box. It's pretty cool. Got seeds. Jalapeno in the center and seeds around it. That's pretty neat. Yep, I'm John the Picker. John the Picker Food Reviews. I suggest you go get some jalapeno chicken fries. Them things are awesome. Shouts out to Burger King. Everybody that works up there. I like going there. They never get my order wrong. Food's always good. We like Burger King. Oh yeah. Fast food reviews with John the Picker. Next item up, the triple double crunch wrap box. It comes with a triple double crunch wrap. It's in a bag too. A nacho cheese Doritos Locos tacos, a crunchy taco, and a medium drink. Let's check this beast out. Taco Bell is my favorite restaurant. I've done been there three times on my fast food diet. I plan on getting the 12 taco box and eating it all at once. And I won one of the bean burritos for a quarter. You play the quarter game, you can either win a bean burrito, you can win different prizes. Uh, we got the Doritos Locos Tacos. My taco, and then we got this beast, limited edition, triple double crunch wrap. It's got double the cheddar cheese. Oh my goodness, this thing ought to be awesome. It's like double and triple layered. Triple double layered event here, folks. Check that beast. That's awesome. Freaking awesome. We're going to try it out. See what she's got on the inside. It's good. Tastes like a taco. Same thing as a taco almost. We're going to do like a Furious Pete thing where we try to eat everything as fast as we can. Taco is broken. I almost dropped the box getting into the car. Almost dropped the beast. I don't know how I'm going to do on the fast food challenge. Try and eat as much food as I can at once. I gotta get the big box, the 12 tacos. I've seen the Hodge twins do it, they did chicken tacos. I'm probably gonna do regular. If you wanna see me eat 12 tacos, I'm doing a fast food diet. I'm gonna do the YouTube challenge. Or eat 12 tacos. That's the nacho cheese taco. I like the sour cream. It's got tomatoes, lettuce, sour cream, nacho cheese, beef. Then it's got the Shells running in the middle. Taco shells. <clears throat> Pretty awesome. I have to fold that beast up. They're going to be calling me Furious Pete Jr. pretty soon.
We're getting a little extreme with it, I know, folks. I know. That's what I do on my YouTube show. <clears throat> Try to take everything to the extreme. <clears throat> that thing didn't last very long. What, five bites? Shouts out to all the people on YouTube that eat food. Especially Furious Pete. I like the video where he took all them uh, Tim Hortons cups and rolled the rim. That was pretty cool. We ain't got the world record yet, folks. <clears throat> Nacho cheese makes it taste really good. It works when you need it, folks. Some fire sauce on that beast. Mm -hmm. All right. Getting her done. Five dollar box is done. All right, next item up the beef or the bean burrito. Next item up, Taco Bell bean burrito. I like these things. I won this out of the Taco Bell coin game. It's like a coin game for free food. I can eat a whole burrito in four bites. Not bad. Especially since I just ate the whole box meal. Fast food diet. I don't think I gained any weight yet. Kind of odd. Alright, the box is just about done. I got this little bit. That didn't come in the box, but... Anyways. Alright, we are done with the box. Triple Double Crunch Wrap box. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're done with our triple double crunch wrap box. That thing was friggin' awesome. It come with a lot of food and filled me right up for $5. I even won a bean burrito while I was up there for $0.25. Cents. 
That filled me up even more. I like the fact that it's got sour cream on the triple double crunch wrap and the nacho cheese mixed in tasted really good. Oh yeah, we're liking the triple double crunch wrap box. Go up to Taco Bell and get yours today. I guess it's limited edition. Who knows how long that's going to be out for. Yep, I'm going to get the uh, 12 taco box or whatever they got in the meal. I'm going to try to eat those as fast as I can for one of my YouTube shows. So that will be probably my next Taco Bell video. I'm John the Picker. Food Reviews. I'm out. Fast food reviews with John the Picker. We're going to go to our next restaurant. It's not going to be Little Caesars tonight, nor McDonald's. We'll check the gas prices. It's $2.32 a gallon. We're going to Wendy's tonight. They were closed in the blizzard storm. I was going to go there when they had the blizzard, but they were freaking closed. Let you see what's going on there. They got four for four. You can get fries, nuggets, drink, sodas. Let's see what they got on the menu today. Let's see. What do we want to eat today? Baconator. They got good chili. I like the biggie fries till they took them off. Now they got ones with sea salt. Yep, we're gonna go inside and see what we can get today. See what kind of limited items they got. Hopefully they got some. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next fast food item up on the list is Wendy's. I've got me some Baconator fries and a triple cheeseburger. Uncle Dave's triple. We got Uncle Dave's triple, we got some Wendy's. That's actually a real person if you didn't know that. Wendy Thomas, Dave Thomas, Wendy Thomas. Kind of weird, I, I got the triple from Wendy's and I told the people up at Wendy's, the guy that was working the cashier, and the people that were working the grill that I was gonna do a show and try to eat this as fast as I can. I don't know what I'm thinking anymore, ladies and gentlemen. I do not know what I'm thinking. This is supposed to be three quarters of a pound. It felt pretty heavy when I was pulling it out of the bag. Maybe I should have just kept my mouth closed. That's what we got. I can't even get my mouth open to eat that beast. Onions. Pickle, tomato, lettuce, cheese. Need my pop. I'm not no furious Pete. At least not yet. I'm going for it though. There's another guy named Matt Stoney. He eats a lot. Baconator fries. Lots of bacon. They have really good bacon. Three minutes in and I'm almost done with the triple. Should have grabbed a nap him. It's really good. You taste the meat for sure. I love Wendy's food. It's always been good. I want to eat it in another three minutes. <clears throat> I can feel it already. I'm getting full. 
<clears throat> so we're gonna just gonna take it easy on them fries. <clears throat> Shouts out to everybody on YouTube. This is my uh, 30 day fast food diet. In case you just tuned in. And then I got the idea why just do it normal. Try to eat it as fast as you can. I don't know if it's working out so well, folks. One bite. Bam. I ain't got enough of that. Alright, there you go. Smashed the baconator in under less than five minutes. So, I'm going to take a break. Then I'm going to tell you how these taste. Alright, the Baconator fries are up. They got some pretty good fries at Wendy's. They use sea salt now. And these have applewood smoked bacon on them. Shredded cheddar cheese. And creamy cheese sauce. Looks really good. We had the Arby's curly fries. I love the taste of the bacon. Wendy's has some awesome taste in bacon. If you like bacon, I suggest you try that. Their chili's really good. I've been going to Wendy's ever since I can remember. Never had a mess an order up or anything. I remember when they used to have the uh, all-you-can-eat buffet. It had like spaghetti tacos, salad, all kinds of stuff. These are really good. Good fries, Wendy's. Shouts out to everybody that was working at Wendy's tonight. They did a really good job for liking this. It's different than the Arby's ones because these ain't like seasoned fries, so. Plus, the bacon tastes totally different. This bacon tastes really good. You got a full bacon flavor here, folks. Alright, and after eating the baconator and some of these fries, I cannot eat no more, ladies and gentlemen. I am full. These baconator fries are awesome. I wish I had chili added. That's about it. I wish I had some chili added. The bacon tastes really good. I suggest you go to Wendy's and get yourself some food today. I'm John the Picker. I'm out. Tune in for more fast food reviews. I'm going to be eating 12 tacos. See how fast I can do that. Oh yeah. Food reviews with John the Picker. We're going to review my birthday cake my girl got me. Oh yeah, we're going to review the birthday cake. She's got three boxes of cream cheese in there. Three eggs, vanilla extract, three fourths sugar, twelve crushed Oreos, whipped cream topping with crushed Hershey Oreos. It's Oreos with Hershey in it. Um, we got chocolate graham cracker bottom. That's the most amazing birthday cake I've ever seen in my life. It's the most amazing birthday cake I've ever gotten, folks. Check that out. Crushed Oreos, Hershey Oreos, chocolate graham cracker bottom. Looks like that it was made professionally at a factory, ladies and gentlemen. That is awesome. 
I don't even want to eat it, it looks so cool. And I got grandma brought me some chocolate chip cookies. We ain't gonna leave grandma out. We got chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna review the Oreo cake. That is awesome. Got homemade chocolate chip cookies and an Oreo cake. We're gonna cut this beast up. It's cheesecake. In case you didn't know. Some Hershey Oreos look pretty cool. Looks like cookies and cream. Just like the friggin' shake I ate earlier, ladies and gentlemen. We're on an Oreo diet right now. This is awesome. Crap, I gotta get a spatula. I'm gonna grab a spatula. Be right back. Might as well take you over there and grab the spatula really quick. We got it here today. Gonna get some of this cake ski out. Give it a little try. Good ass cook. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. What? That's awesome. Oreos on the inside. Look at that. All right, get me a fork. You see the bottom. Graham cracker chocolate crust. Alright, I'm gonna get me a fork and we're gonna taste test this beast. Alright, now we're gonna do the taste test on this thing. Oreo cheesecake. Hershey Oreo chocolate. That's awesome. I didn't even know they made that. I didn't even know they made Oreo Hershey chocolate. Might be better than Walmart's. 20 times better. I freaking need to start a cheesecake factory, ladies and gentlemen. I got you a good cook. Oh, yeah. Best Oreo cheesecake I ever ate. I'm gonna try this Hershey friggin' Oreo thing. Definitely make your own cheesecake. Tastes better. Crunchy. Hershey bar is crunchy. Got that cookies and cream taste to it. Oh yeah. Love that kind. Freaking awesome. I love this cake. I'm John the Picker, John the Picker's Food Reviews. My badass birthday cake, ladies and gentlemen. Shots out to the person that made it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat this beast. Look at the cream cheese, ladies and gentlemen. Freaking cream cheese. I like that. Look where I'm at tonight, ladies and gentlemen, back at Burger King. Chicken nuggets, dollar forty-nine. We're gonna try that chicken sandwich versus the McDonald's chicken sandwich here in a minute. But I got me a uh, Oreo shake. Look at that, freaking smells like Oreos and everything. I guess you drink it. <laughs> it's got Oreos in it, I was gonna eat it.
Tastes like cookies and cream ice cream. Yeah, chunks of Oreo coming through the straw. That's crazy. I don't know if you guys seen that. The Oreo shake from Burger King. It's like cookies and cream, ice cream, Oreo style. That's awesome. Shots out to Burger King. Let's get a shot of this all the way around. It's an Oreo shake. We love that kind. Price of the Oreo shake, $2.99, 30 cents for Oreos. They come in chocolate, mint, and vanilla ice cream. They're pretty good, folks. Food reviews with John the Picker. We're gonna review my birthday cake my girl got me. Oh yeah, we're gonna review the birthday cake. She's got three boxes of cream cheese in there, three eggs, vanilla extract, three fourths sugar, 12 crushed Oreos, whipped cream topping with crushed Hershey Oreos. It's Oreos with Hershey in it. Um. We got chocolate graham cracker bottom. That's the most amazing birthday cake I've ever seen in my life. It's the most amazing birthday cake I've ever gotten, folks. Check that out. Crushed Oreos. Hershey Oreos. Chocolate graham cracker bottom. Looks like it was made professionally at a factory, ladies and gentlemen. That is awesome. I don't even want to eat it, it looks so cool. And I got Grandma brung me some chocolate chip cookies. We ain't gonna leave Grandma out. We got chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna review the Oreo cake. That is awesome. Got homemade chocolate chip cookies and an Oreo cake. We're gonna cut this beast up. It's cheesecake, in case you didn't know. Hershey Oreos look pretty cool. Looks like cookies and cream. Just like the friggin' shake I ate earlier, ladies and gentlemen. We're on an Oreo diet right now. <laughs> this is awesome. Crap, I gotta get a spatula. I'm gonna grab a spatula. I'll be right back. I might as well take you over there and grab the spatula really quick. We got it here today. Cake ski out. Give it a little try. Good ass cook. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. What? That's awesome. <laughs> Oreo is on the inside. Look at that. You see the bottom. Graham cracker chocolate crust. Alright, I'm going to get me a fork and we're going to taste test this beast. Alright, now we're going to do the taste test on this thing. Oreo cheesecake. 
Hershey Oreo chocolate. That's awesome. I didn't even know they made that. I didn't even know they made Oreo Hershey chocolate. She might be better than Walmart's. 20 times better. I friggin' need to start a cheesecake factory, ladies and gentlemen. I got you a good cook. Oh, yeah. Best Oreo cheesecake I ever ate. I'm gonna try this Hershey friggin' Oreo thing. Definitely make your own cheesecake. Tastes better. Crunchy. Hershey bar is crunchy. Got that cookies and cream taste to it. Oh yeah. Love that kind. Freaking awesome. I love this cake. I'm John the Picker, John the Picker's Food Reviews. My badass birthday cake, ladies and gentlemen. Shots out to the person that made it. Oh yeah, I'm going to eat this beast. Look at the cream cheese, ladies and gentlemen. Freaking cream cheese. Alright guys, at Burger King again. You guys are going to get sick of Burger King by the time I'm done. We're going to get the new chicken sandwich they have. I seen that flyer yesterday when I ate my Oreo shake and I said I want that kind. So I'm going to go in there and get it. Alright guys, next item up on the food reviews is the new crispy chicken sandwich from Burger King. Medium combo meal costs $6.39. The sandwich costs $4.39. With the combo meal you get drinks and a fry. I just got the sandwich, and then I got me a chicken sandwich from Wendy's, chicken sandwich from McDonald's, we can compare them. I'll get one from Burger King later, I got the big dog instead. I wanted to check out the new chicken sandwich that had an advertisement in the window yesterday, which made me want to get it. McDonald's dollar chicken. We're going to check the $4.39 chicken to the dollar chicken. We got Wendy's. I should have got one from Burger King. I don't know why I didn't. But I got the big sandwich instead. So we'll check the new chicken sandwich out. See what that consists of today. Looks like I may have been a little rough with it today. My lettuce is up. I did that. They did not do that. I did it. Okay. That's what it looks like. We got the tomato, lettuce, some good looking chicken. I'll let you see how thick it is today. Their chicken's pretty good. I always like that. I like their long sub sandwich chickens. Original chicken sandwiches. We're going to test this beast out. Definitely crispy. The bun tastes really good. I don't know what's up with that bun, but it tastes awesome. Kind of like a sweet tasting bun. Buttery. It's a good chicken sandwich, ladies and gentlemen. Let's compare the dollar chicken. Okay. 
and some dollar chains. It's Wendy's. And McDonald's. A lot of mayo. They put a good gob of mayo on there, didn't they? Alright. Hmm. What can we do here? Let's slap this one right there. That on top of there. Smush it right down. You ever see them people on YouTube? They get all the tacos from Taco Bell and they'll mix the ingredients together. First time I ever did something like that. Mmm. Tastes good. We got the Wendy's McChicken and the McDonald's in there. Triple chicken burger, boys. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. That's awesome. Slamming McDonald's chicken sandwich into Wendy's made it taste better, ladies and gentlemen. It's a whole new chicken sandwich. It's got like a spicy, regular chicken flavor to it. Oh, yeah. Because the McDonald's one is spicy, the Wendy's one is regular. So it takes away the spiciness. Chicken sandwich is almost done. That bun right there is a potato bun. I had to look that up online. It's a really unique taste and bun. It tastes awesome. Their chicken's really good. It tastes like the regular Burger King chicken, but more crispier. Awesome. Yep, Burger King's new chicken sandwich. Go get one. Tastes pretty good. It's a little high on the price, I think, but we got our Wendy's and McDonald's McChickens. Wendy's chicken sandwich. The taste is really good, smashed together. I'm gonna have to get a bunch of dollar ones and just smash them all together and eat them. Yep, I'm John Picker. John Picker's food reviews. Go check Burger King out today. Let's check this menu situation out. Shit, we're vibrating a little bit. That's not good. Tree in the way. Georgia Gold's expensive, ladies and gentlemen. Five forty-nine. You can get it three different ways, as you can tell. Baskets. Move up a little bit so the car ain't vibrating. Menu, ladies and gentlemen. Freaking menu scan. So I know what to get next time. Alright guys, food reviews with John the Picker. Next spot up, we got KFC. I got the Georgia Gold. I've been seeing the commercials for this. Everything's made of gold and they picks it up. You can't barely pick it up. We got the Georgia Gold, ladies and gentlemen. It's supposed to be honey mustard style chicken. Honey mustard barbecue. And then I got a Nashville hot. Spicy, smoky, crispy chicken little sandwich. No idea. Cold slaw. Got some cold slaw. I really like cold slaw. What else do we got? Oh, I got a cookie. Cookie, looky, cookie. Looky, looky, KFC gave me a cookie. Okay, and we got a little chocolate chip. A little bit of chocolate chip. Check this chicken out. We're gonna sealed it right up, didn't they? Smell the pickles as soon as I took the top off. It's a little gold. All 
There goes that pickle. Shit's expensive. Hmm. I can kind of taste it. Mmm. It's got a little bit of a honey mustard taste to it. It's not what I was expecting. My chicken little. This is the hot one. I hope. It's either the hot or it's the Georgia Gold, one or the other. Doesn't taste too hot. Yep. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know what to think of this, ladies and gentlemen. It's got a little bit of a spice to it. I'm going to taste it now a little bit. <clears throat> it was funny. I was watching YouTube videos. I'm eating. When people get the naked chicken chalupa. Because it was so spicy. And funny. Hodge twins were all dumping hot sauce on it. I was laughing. I'm thinking, man, his mouth's going to be hot. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. I thought my mouth was going to be burning. I don't know what to think, folks. I'm going to have to eat a little bit. I mean, I can kind of taste a little bit of a spice. Not as bad as a jalapeno. But still a little spicy. Alright, guys. KFC's new chicken, the Georgia Gold and the Nashville Hot. The Nashville Hot was pretty hot. As soon as I got done eating that chicken little, it took me one of these whole chicken tenders just to get rid of the hot flavoring and half my soda. So that did kick in to be pretty hot in the end. We got the uh, Georgia Gold. It's honey mustard barbecue flavored. I think it needed a little bit more flavoring. I could taste the honey mustard barbecue flavor, but I think it needed a little bit more. It needed to be like, wow, it's got a lot of flavor in it. It does got a lot, but... I just wanted a little bit more flavoring. The honey barbecue, we're gonna taste the cold slaw. Looks nice and fresh. I don't usually eat cold slaw. They must make that right there. Because it tastes so fresh. I don't think they could ship it. They make it taste that good. Tastes like it was just cut. Yep, I'm John the Picker, John the Picker's Food Reviews. Go up to KFC, get their Georgia Gold. I love the YouTube commercials they've been doing. I like the one where the kids got the gold car. That was pretty funny. How he's always trying to carry around the Georgia Gold bucket. And it's so heavy. Because it's made of pure gold. John Picker Food Reviews, I'm out. Go get that hot kind. Oh, well, look where I'm going to eat tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Como's Pizza. They got some good pizza there. Oh, yeah, we're going to Como's, our local pizza shop. Habitat for Humanities down that way with the church. Look at that. That's pretty cool. One day that bell was ringing. It's ringing forever. All right, guys, food reviews with John the Picker. What we have here tonight is a pizza from Como's, home of the world style pizzas. It's a chicken bacon ranch pizza. It has cheese, ranch, fajita chicken, and bacon. That thing looks freaking awesome, and I got a side of jalapeno peppers. The people working up at Como's were really nice tonight. Awesome. Let's check their pizza out.
Looks like they got good ingredients on there. All kinds of chicken. We like that kind. We're going to taste it first before I put jalapenos on there. And I can't feel the taste in my mouth. That's amazing. It tastes a little bit like a breakfast pizza. The bacon. Tastes a little bit like a breakfast pizza because of the mix of cheese. Chicken's good. Crust is good. That chicken's really good. I'm going to throw some jalapenos on there and burn my mouth off. Let's try that. Put a little bit of pepper on there. Spicing it up a notch. Salt and pepper, folks. Gotta have salt and pepper. Jalapeno pepper time. Nice and fresh. Crunchy. They got good jalapenos, that's for sure. And they're hot. Yep, I'm going to get it something to drink. Tape the rest of this pizza, eat it. I'll be back with you in a second. Get another shot of this pizza today. It is freaking awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Go up to Como's today, get a pizza. Amazing. Alright guys, the chicken bacon ranch pizza is done. It was really good. I like the chicken on there. It tasted really good. It had a nice flavor to it. There was lots of bacon. Oh yeah, I should have got more extra ranch on it. A little bit extra ranch. It was really good pizza. If you're ever in Alpena, I suggest you go to Como's and try their pizza. I remember the guy that used to own Como's used to set up at the fair. And he used to play that game where you shoot out the star. And you could shoot it out every single time. Unbelievable. I guess you go around the star instead of shooting straight at the center is what he was telling me. But Como's Pizza, Alpena, Michigan, go try it. It's really freaking good. Everybody that was working up there was awful nice. We like going to Como's. Como's and JJ's are going to have to have a pizza war. Along with this place out in Roger, or Posen. Place out in Posen had really good pizza. And there's a few places in Roger City. We're going to get pizza from everywhere. John Picker's Food Reviews. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Oh, yeah.